here. Oh, yes, sir. Do you know Lynn Patton? Yes, I do. Uh, I, I asked Lynn to come today in her personal capacity uh, to actually shed some light. H how long have you known Ms. Patton? I'm responsible for Lynn Patton joining the Trump Organization and the job that she currently holds. Well, uh, that's, I'm glad you acknowledge that because you made some very um, demeaning comments about the, the president that Ms. Patton doesn't agree with. In fact, it has to do with your claim of racism. She says that as a daughter of a man born in Birmingham, Alabama, that there is no way that she would work for, uh, for an individual who was racist. How do you reconcile the two of those, Mr. As neither should I, as the son of a Holocaust survivor. But, Mr. Cohen, I guess what I'm saying is, is I've talked to, to the president over 300 times. I've not heard one time a racist comment out of, out of his mouth in private. So how do you reconcile it? Do you have proof of those conversations? I would ask you to Do you ask have tape recordings of those conversations? No, sir. Well, you've taped everybody else. That's, Why wouldn't you have a tape? That's also not true, sir. That's not true. You haven't taped anybody? I, I have taped individuals. How many times have you taped individuals? Maybe 100 times over 10 years. Is that a low estimate? Because I've, I've heard it's over 200 times. No, I don't think. I think it's approximately about 100 from what I recall. But I would ask so you, why would, you ask me a question, you, sir. Do you have so proof? Here's, do will, you have proof, yes do, or no? I do. Oh, where's the proof? Ask Ms. Patton how many people who are black are executives at the Mi Trump Organization. Mi and the answer Cohen, is Mr. zero. Mr. Cohen, we can go through this. Here's, I, would ask you you, me, I would ask unanimous consent that her entire statement be put in the record. 